Today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy baked jerk chicken. So first and foremost, you're going to need chicken. Two pounds, which is about 907 grams or close, you can use a kilo. This, I actually have, this is more like 1.6 kilo, so it's not quite double, uh, but I've got to use it up, so I'm going to go ahead and make it all anyway. Uh, so I'm going to give the actual amount that you're going to need if you use the right amount of chicken, um, but I'm probably going to double it just to make sure I have enough marinade. So. Again, two pounds or 907 grams of chicken. You want to use thighs, drums, wings, breasts, any combination. I've got all legs here, but you just want to make sure it's with the bone in and the skin on. So for the marinade, uh, you're going to need a third cup of either avocado oil or olive oil, one half tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of ground allspice, one and a half teaspoons of a brown sugar substitute if you're doing low carb. If you're doing paleo, you could use two teaspoons of coconut sugar. One teaspoon of onion powder, and then it calls for half a teaspoon of a dried minced garlic. I don't have minced garlic, so I'm just gonna use garlic powder. One half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half teaspoon of ground black pepper, one half teaspoon of ground ginger, one quarter to one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, depending on how spicy you like it. One quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. Now optional, you can also add two tablespoons of chopped green onions or scallions if you like. I don't have any today, so I'm just gonna leave it out. The recipe does say to mix all your marinade ingredients in a large bowl. Then you add the chicken, mix it all through and you can cover it with like plastic wrap or foil when you put it in the fridge. I'm just going to use this container because it already has a, a lid to make it really easy to cover and store it in there, so you use whatever you've got. So I'm going to mix everything right in here, and again, I'm doubling the marinade, but I'm just going to mention how much it's actually used. So to start with, we'll add the oil, and we'll add the apple cider vinegar, and the sea salt, and that's the allspice. Then our brown sugar substitute, and again, I'm using a monk fruit sweetener, the golden is their brown sugar version onion powder, the garlic, nutmeg, freshly ground black pepper, ground ginger, then the cayenne, again depending on how spicy you want it, the ground cinnamon, and the thyme. If you're using the scallions, go ahead and add those now too. So then we're just going to want to very carefully mix all of this together. We want those seasonings well mixed into the liquid. See, I've got that all really well mixed together now. So now we're just going to go ahead and add the chicken. And we want to sort of mix them around to get it all coated really well. So go ahead and just start putting your pieces in there. So I've got them all down in there. Now I just want to sort of turn them all around and mix them up, make sure they get all well coated in this. Now once you've got them all well coated, you just want to cover that and put it in the fridge. So again, I'm using one with a lid, but you can cover a, your dish with plastic wrap or foil, whatever works for you. And I want to put that in the refrigerator to marinate for at least two hours. Now a lot of the marinade is still on the bottom, so you can certainly come back during that time and flip them all over again or just give it a good shake up, whatever works for you. Go ahead and put that in the fridge. All right, so it's been about almost three hours, I think, now. So, And I did, um, after an hour or so, I did go in and turn all the chicken over and rub the sauce all over everything again, so we're good. Uh, so now I've got my oven preheated to 350 Fahrenheit, or about 180 Celsius. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and stack these in the pan. Now I'm using a roasting pan, even though this is up in the air just a little bit. I'm just going to sort of lay my chicken legs across it like this. Let's see if I can't fit them all on there. Now, if you had sort of a flat um, rack in there, so you could set it flat in the pan if you wanted to. I just like using the rack. It helps keep them up and get more crispy. Um, but because mine's for a roasting pan, there's a slight curve in the middle. I mean, they're kind of sliding together a little bit. That's all right, though. So now what I've got left of this sauce, I'm not going to waste that. So I'll just go ahead and brush that on the chicken. Help use that up because that's tasty. We don't want to miss that. 
And also I put the chicken in the pan skin side up. So there you go, I had quite a bit of sauce left and as you can see I've coated it really nicely. Now we're gonna pop this in. Again, they're skin side up and we're not turning it during the cooking time. The recipe does suggest one hour to an hour 10. I have a fan forced oven so I'm gonna start checking mine at 45 minutes. And so that's been about 50, 55 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out because it's looking really good. Now, the recipe does say to turn on your broiler uh, and put it under the broiler for a few minutes to crisp up the skin, but it's feeling pretty good actually, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out. So there it is, a really easy baked jerk chicken that's low carb and really tasty. I hope you give it a try.